Close your eyes and be sensitive to the breath. Know when it's coming in, know when it's going out. Get your mind to settle down right here. Tell yourself if you have no other concerns right now, that's just you and the breath. See if you can make a determination to stay here and then stick with it. Today's the beginning of the Rains Retreat. It's a time when the monks make a determination they're going to stay here for three months. If they're extenuating circumstances, they may go away for at most seven days. But basically they stay here so they can have some stability to be with a community of other people who are practicing and to help encourage one another in the practice. Because lay people can make a determination too. You may not decide you're going to stay in one place, but you can determine on something specially good for this year. Some area where the practice that needs to be accelerated, that needs to be strengthened, or defilements that need to be weakened. Make up your mind you're going to give a special opportunity or give special interest to one particular thing for the next three months. So you can look through your life and see what is it that you have too much of that's unskillful or you don't have enough of that's skillful. Try to make up the lack. If there's too much of unskillful behavior in your, in your thoughts, your words, and your deeds, then what can you do to cut back? How you can show some restraint? This is probably one of the most important things, because we, we live in a situation where it's easy to get upset. The pandemic doesn't seem to be ending. Every time a wave goes out, then another wave comes in. Tempers flare, people get impatient. And you don't want to add to that. There's enough of that in the world already. You don't have to add anything more. Otherwise, we're like the dog that says, well, there wasn't, a, there wasn't enough sound last night, so I howled at the moon all night long. Here there's plenty of sound already, lots of sound, lots of fury. So this is the time to show some patience and some restraint. Get your anger under control. Get your irritation under control. See if you can help cool the world down. You may not be able to cool the whole world down, but to cool your own mind down, that's important. Because if you don't, the world may be suffering from your lack of restraint, but then you're going to be suffering too. So look at their thoughts, your words and deeds. Think about having a house where you show some restraint on who you let into the house and who you let out of the house, into the neighborhood. In other words, be careful about what you bring in through your eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body. The things you see, the things you hear, smell, taste, touch. You have to ask yourself, who's doing the looking, who's doing the listening? Is it you or is it greed or is it anger? Because it's not usually the case that we're just sitting around perfectly innocent with nothing in our minds and something comes in and makes us angry. A lot of times the mind is already irritated, looking for something to get angry about, or lustful about, or, ang or jealous about. And it can find almost anything to latch onto. So the problem isn't out there, it's how you bring things in. And then once they're in there, then they can in inspire you to do certain actions, and then you c things come out of the house in terms of actions. What are you letting out into the neighborhood? Are you letting wild dogs out into the neighborhood, or are you letting well-behaved children, well-behaved family members? You have to ask yourself. Have some control over the windows and doors in your house, and that way you benefit. The people around you benefit too. So take this as a special three months to show some restraint. Of course, when restraint feels confining, this is when you want to work on your meditation. Because in meditation we develop enlarged states of mind. You can think of goodwill for all beings, compassion for all beings, empathetic joy for all beings, equanimity without regard to all beings. You can focus on the breath and the body, the whole body, not just the nose, but the entire body. That way you can keep your mind enlarged, so it doesn't feel hemmed in by restraint. This way you develop one of the important aspects of determination. It shows some discernment about what you need to change, how you need to change it, and how you can keep the mind calm in the face of whatever you have to give up. When you're true to your determination in this way, then it becomes a complete determination, one that you can actually carry through with 
And then at the end of three months, you say, why stop at three months? If it's really good, keep on going. It takes the three months to get the momentum going. Once you've got the momentum, then it's going to be a lot easier. So think of this as a special time. In Thai, they have the phrase Anu Son Chi Wit, which means memorial for your life. You don't want the memorial for your life to be just a piece of stone someplace. You want it to be some goodness that you've done, particularly the goodness you've done in the mind. You look back on this, these three months and say, okay, that was time well spent. Of course, if it's well spent for three months, keep on spending it well. It's just in this way that our practice builds up momentum and can see us through.